The next short skill set to talk about is multiple height. So the ability to take rhythm and turn it into something that's a little bit more exciting than just sort of monotone playing. So the idea being that if we can start to apply sort of the full down and tap and upstroke, we can take simple rhythms. make it a little bit more interesting by playing with dynamics and playing multiple heights. So you can start to see that this thing, really if you start to fill in that rhythm, gives you accent at 16 notes basically. Okay? Then if you take the, the one plus two, you can take this and then just start to distort the rhythm and you start to get into sort of what one-handed patterns of rudiments are. And this is really how I've structured my whole instructional book, is to look at these note groupings these pull down, tap, and upstrokes, and apply those to the rudiments, okay? So now we start to get into that with what would be a paradiddle diddle, or even just a straight paradiddle, uh, with one plus two, because you take this rhythm, you can distort that, down, tap, up, 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 and it becomes the one-handed version of a paradiddle, or a paradiddle diddle. And then you really have started to open up the door for virtually anything. Okay? And I'm a firm believer, and the more that I've taught, I've started to introduce things to students a little bit sooner, just because you know, maybe if they start working on it a little bit sooner, they'll start to understand it better. And they may not be able to play it great right away, but the fact that you're exposing it to them, and they understand it, and they're sort of looking at it, they see it, it really helps them later on, once they get a little bit more control, to hone in those skills. So now I want to play a little solo called the Isle Seat. And this is one that was written, really, to work on the two skill sets that we've talked about. There are a little bit of diddle skill in this, uh, but mostly it's a timing-based solo. And the idea behind this was that I had a student um, who had pretty good hands, but her timing was just out the window. She didn't understand rhythms that well. So I figured I'd write something for her that had some accompaniment, basically, okay? So the idea being that she's gonna play certain polyrhythms uh, and different accented patterns, along with the kick drum to, to help her understand where the pulse will be. So this is the aisle seat. 